Blind man with guide dog forced to stand on train as other passengers won't offer him a seat. Being kind and understanding when it comes to those who are less fortunate than ourselves as as a basic rule the right thing to do Sadly, we live in a world where not everyone likes to abide by the outlines of common decency As a result too often do we hear of stories wherein people with disadvantages or disabilities find themselves struggling even more than they should be a Blind man is revealed how he was left forced to stand with his guide dog on a recent train journey Despite having asked fellow passengers if there were any seats available Jonathan Attenborough a disability and inclusion advocate boarded a Scott rail service from Edinburgh to Perth on Tuesday But had no choice but to stand in the aisle with his dog He said he asked other passengers if there was somewhere he could sit down, but they ignored him Completely unacceptable passenger assistance from Scott rail to leave me and my guide dog in the doorway of the train He wrote on Twitter. I asked several times if there was any spare seats and not one passenger responded Doesn't give me much faith in humanity a Member of Scott rails media team answered Jonathan to offer an apology. Hi Jonathan I wanted to get back in touch about your experience on Tuesday. They wrote I've sought advice from our access and inclusion manager and also fed back to our station and onboard teams You should have been assisted to a suitable seat, and I'm sorry. This didn't happen It's disappointing that no passengers responded when you called out, but you shouldn't have been put in that position in the first place Naturally Jonathan has been left unsettled by the incident He accepted Scott rails apology, but is wary of it happening again in the future no sooner had he posted his story than did social media respond with messages of support Not only did commenters condemn the rail service, but also the other passengers Indeed surely it couldn't have been difficult for at least one passenger to give Jonathan an answer Especially since the presence of his guide dog made obvious his condition Jonathan we're so sorry that you had to face this alone It certainly doesn't bode well for the future when a group of people can be so heartless